Well, it's about 8 o'clock uh, on uh, October 22nd, and it is time for another BTS vlog. Yeah, we're starting another day. Uh, finished the day. We just finished the day a couple, uh, about an hour ago. We just did the last uh, segment for the previous uh, BTS vlog, and now we're starting the next. Uh, we're starting the first segment for this BTS vlog. <laughs> so trying to get into my mind, but uh, a couple hours apart, rather than doing uh, uh, the second segment for, or another segment for the previous video, we're continuing on. So in other words, uh, back to back, the uh, the BTS vlog, the segments will be continuous. Uh, this is kind of how the day goes, and this is what happens with sleep, is sleep is sort of pushed in between uh, a number of these different uh, uh, points. So, as it is 8 o'clock in the morning, I haven't gone to bed yet. Uh, and there's going to be another couple hours before I do go to bed. So, uh, anyways, where are, we going, where are we going with this now? Uh, the IPTV is finished. Uh, I've finished uh, doing the work on the IPTV in terms of getting everything configured. Uh, I'm looking at various different channel options now, various different content options. And I've decided that in many cases uh, it's better to go with uh, the, uh, what you call the, uh, I guess a network option rather than network media rather than going with uh, over the internet. Right now, over the internet uh, for your standard viewing is rather um, degraded. Is not up to the point where it should be or could be. And a large chunk of that has to do with the amount of bandwidth available uh, on a standard basis. And that's sort of, you know, as bandwidth gets short, talked up, you have uh, more and more, you'll have uh, uh, content providers like uh, internet channels rather than putting out a full 10, a full, a full 720. Not even a full 10, not even a full 720p. But they'll do is they'll, they'll cut down the bit rate to a significant point. I think right now they're doing less than 2,000, 2,000, uh, kil, uh, 2,000 uh, bits per second uh, in terms of 2,000 bits or 2,000 kilobits. I'm not too sure which which it is. Anyways, uh, they're significantly cutting off the quality of the 720p that they're putting across, and it's noticeable in terms of the quality that comes that, that that you see on this end here on on the on the uh, the viewers end, but is it, there's still enough around. There's still an, an enormous amount of content around that uh, even though the standard stuff is not uh, available from that particular avenue, there is enough alternative stuff the like documentaries, the re research uh, videos, and uh, anime and other t older cartoons and well older shows that are that are available that the newer stuff that it, no yeah, the newer stuff doesn't seem as important if you miss it no, and from my perspective anyway so it really depends on where you want to be going with IPTV um, you know do you really depend on those shows the new shows or maybe you want something a little different. Anyways, I watched. I watched. What did I, what did I watch today? I, some of the new shows that do get is like you know, uh, the Amazing Race. I watched that today on on, on Canada CTV. Uh, the American stuff is blocked up here, uh, and you'll find that a lot is that as soon as you go up the United States, IPTV uh, is blocked for most of the American content. You just can't get it in your country. So uh, outside the U.S., it's kind of you now. Let's see what else is around. Um. Uh, but beyond that, uh, today is uh, pretty much looks like um, I'll be working on the uh, pieces of my research, uh, the pieces of my research uh, institute puzzle. Uh, I say stated that uh, uh, was my decision many years ago, rather than uh, going to the United States to do my research there. That because I'm American and um, and I was living in a uh, and still living in a uh, immigrant community. Who came came and built their lives with nothing? That I'd look at look at what they were doing and build my own research institute. 
And that's sort of what's happened here, but there are a lot of different pieces to it as I do my open exploration uh, and, you know, getting into the Tesla project, you know, the Project Tesla, getting into a lot of other different projects that are going on here. Uh, they all sort of, these different pieces uh, come together as the Research Institute and form the very meat of it and then every once in a while things have to be restructured, redone and in many cases repaired because as things grow uh, you need to sort of uh, take things down, take it apart and then rebuild it again to to include some of the new materials and some of the new upgrades that you want to put into the system and so when you do the upgrades you have to re not only take down what you what you what you have up there, but you have to rebuild it, reshape it, and then put it back up again. And that's kind of what's going to go over the next few weeks. Is sort of going to be working on, in addition to the uh, uh, project Tesla uh, and all the other projects here, as I now have to work on uh, bringing out some of the different pieces of of the uh, research research institute puzzle. I have to sort of bring those into more of a uh, a. Uh, better position and I'll sort of announce them as as they come up as they come online as they become more visible I'll announce it here and you can go check it out and see what you think of it and uh, you know maybe it's not something you're interested in maybe some maybe not anyways uh, I'm gonna get back to what I was doing today anyways and I will see you uh, in a couple hours all right see you in a couple hours it is uh, Wednesday October 23rd and it's about six o'clock in the morning, and we're finishing up uh, the BTS vlog for October twenty-second in our typical fashion. That uh, <laughs> nothing goes as usual. Now work is getting done because I've been, and I say work is getting done because uh, for the last uh, couple hours uh, I've been in full-on crash recovery mode. That means. Uh, I've been doing a lot of sleeping, uh, really can't do much in terms of uh, actual work, so uh, the work that does get done has to be done in the point and the times when I'm awake, and this is where the efficiency of the setup I have comes into play, determines how much I actually get done during these particular periods and how much is left to do afterwards. So uh, the question is, during the period of a crash recovery, when I'm in my crash recovery period, uh, can I get enough work done? Can I keep the momentum up so that when uh, I come out of the crash recovery mode, they, there isn't a significant backlog of work? And that sort of seems to be the case because uh, projects, even like Project Tesla, do, don't work on a continually day-to-day -day basis. In other words, you're not always having a ton of information flowing in. Sometimes you have a lot of information flowing in where you have an enormous amount to clear, an enormous amount to sort of search through. And then there are times when there's not that much information coming in and it's just sort of you're waiting for different bits and pieces, um, like I'm waiting for uh, the rest of the shipments that I've ordered for this year. Every year, uh, beginning in September, from September to November, uh, I order new equipment for here to upgrade to uh, bring in new projects. And it's not until all the equipment comes in, and depending on when it comes in, that the projects that I set up during this particular period that will cover me cover me for the year actually get up to full speed so uh, if I've gotten to a point in a project and equipment hasn't arrived yet then there's a bit of a lag and that lag gives me a chance to sort of you know not where I can go into a crash recovery mode and not necessarily wor worry about it because uh, I'm in a lag anyways <laughs> in other words there are periods of time when there is a frantic amount of work to get done, when there's an enormous amount of studying going on and you have, you're working uh, 17, 18 hour days, uh, going through the research, studying the research to, to, to see what you need and what you don't need, um, to look for new points, new directions, uh, new hints. Because what happens is that 
in the, this will sort of sum up the whole issue of Tesla. Is that when Tesla finishes the work, he didn't actually finish his work. He never felt that he finished his work. So Tesla himself didn't feel as if he finished his work. Uh, this is also true of Einstein. Einstein did not finish with the, with the feeling, ah, I've finished my work. So what happens is that when you go back in and you look at the work that was done by Einstein, the work that was done by Tesla, or any of the, try to go into any of these things, even if they're, their archives are hidden, uh, if you know your physics well enough, and you can develop a good enough of, ex of an experimental program, you can sort of come to an understanding of what they were, what they were looking at, and what they were trying to seek. And the goal here is, eventually, at some point in time, to try to see if you can finish what they couldn't finish. But again, this is this is a pursuit that that is not a short pursuit. It's something that's part of your entire life. It's, it, this is something that you take on as a life goal rather than something, oh, I'm going to do this for like six months and that's it, you know. As I said, the difference between uh, myself and an elementary school student or a, a junior high school student, uh, you're given a project for maybe two, three, in the last maybe two, three months at the most. Uh, I have the same project where I don't know what I'm looking at or, lo or how to do different things, where not all the information is, is given to me. But this project, instead of lasting two, three months, lasts my entire life. So I stay as a student, and this is the goal, is to stay as a student, uh, for my entire life. So I live my life uh, much the way, in much the same way that a elementary school student or a junior high school or a middle school student does. This is my life. This is what goes on in my life from a day-to-day -day basis. This is why, uh, rather than having my work desk in terms of at a, at a, at a cubicle in an office where I'm working 9 to 5, I have my research desk here. And it's like being in the library 24-7. It's like doing your research project 24-7. You know, that's, that's your thing. But your thing is, you're driven because of this massive puzzle that you're working on, the puzzle of the universe. And you have no idea what the pieces are. The pieces are literally scattered all over the universe, all over the place. And you don't know where they are. You don't know where they're hidden in. in. And you have to go out and collect as much information as you can. You bring it back. You sort it out. You organize it. And you go back out again and, and bring in some more information. You organize it. You sort it. And as you start doing that again and again and again, that same process again and again, uh, you start re realizing that certain pieces that you bring in, certain bits of information that start to connect to other pieces of it pieces of information. And as, as these connections start to go, ah, and, uh, you begin to be able to sort of develop these puzzles. But if you're a puzzle build builder, if you're, or if you've ever built a puzzle, uh, you know that you have a sense of comfort that in a puzzle, what you do in the first rule of a puzzle, you usually go look for the edge pieces, right? You find the edge of the puzzle, and then you work your way in. The problem with this puzzle is that there is no edge. <laughs> and so when that has an enormous complexity is that, that you're working on a puzzle that has more than a thousand pieces uh, and it has no edge. So what you have to do is you have to look for uh, bits and pieces that look familiar or, or look like they will fit together and sit there and try to fit them together in many, in many ways almost like a trial and error fashion. Some will work and some won't work. But anyways, uh, I'm going to leave this here. The time is getting near the end. So I'm going to end the day here. And we'll pick up again in maybe an hour or so uh, for October 23rd. The beginning for the, B for the BTS vlog for October 23rd. All right. Take it easy.